Welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to touch base upon uh, one of the confusing top topic, uh, install versus bundle mode for Cisco Catalyst switches. So there have been like a lot of uh, confusion around uh, what are these different modes uh, and what is the recommended way to boot your switch. Uh, so I'm going to address that in this video. So basically, Cisco uh, iOS is always been a monolithic uh, kernel. That means all the feature uh, features been combined into one single image, and we always uh, looked at at uh, as dot bin image. Maybe you, if you are using twelve dot something or fifteen dot something, and now uh, we have sixteen release uh, also going. So uh, twelve uh, sixteen dot major minor, and at the last you see dot bin. That means this is the Cisco iOS software. And uh, if you boot your switch with a dot bin file, it boots up uh, in a bundle mode. So historically, uh, bundle mode is a default mode. Uh, but now, uh, since uh, Cisco iOS XC is also taken a, a distributed approach, that means different uh, uh, features are broken into different packages uh, to, and they don't really share the memories. They have their own reserved memories. At the same time, they have some shared overlap, memory overlap. Uh, that In that way, you get a better utilization of your resources. So that is the install mode. The inst so as you can see on my screen, there are description for install mode and bundle mode. Install mode uses the package provisioning file named package.conf in order to boot a switch. And bundle, mode you simply boot your switch with dot bin uh, file or, or software how you can uh, make sure what mode you are in uh, so you can do show version on your switch and at the very last it will tell you that what software it use to boot the switch and then it will show you the mode i'll show you the output later in this video uh, in later slides and uh, then you can see that there are some restriction between install mode and bundle mode. Uh, so auto upgrade feature is disabled by default and not available in bundle mode. So if you want to do auto upgrade, you need to be in install mode. Again, USB driver or TFTP install is not supported uh, in uh, install mode. So if you boot from TFTP, then uh, you cannot simply uh, go in install mode it will boot up with the bundle mode. So a couple of restriction with uh, both the modes. But the good thing is you can convert between modes and install mode is a recommended mode for booting a switch uh, in 2019. So in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss three use cases. One, uh, if you are in bundle mode, how you can go to install mode and vice versa. And the third use case is uh, if you are in install mode and you want to upgrade your switch and want to remain again in install mode, what do you need to do? So let's get started with the first use case. The first use case is converting from install mode to bundle mode. Uh, I choose to start with this because this is really simple um, uh, and that's very easy. Only a couple of steps. That's why I uh, decided to pick uh, this topic first. So uh, here we are going from install mode to bundle mode. Uh, so the first step is verify the mode and initial boot variables. So you are going to do a show version and one, uh, I have truncated the output, but the out output for our concern is this. So this is my switch uh, model and my software version. The mode here, it says install mode. And if you look at the show boot, my boot variable is set to flash.package.conf because install mode uses package.conf file to uh, boot the uh, uh, to boot the switch and this package.conf file is generated automatically we should not uh, edit or change anything in this package.conf file i'll show you how we, uh, this package.conf uh, get generated so this is my current state. Show version is install mode. Boot is selected. Uh, boot var is selected to package.conf. Now we are going to do is we are going to unset the current boot variable 
and then they set the boot system to use dot bin file here the here assumption is that image is already available or copied in flash so what we are going to do is we log into the device and say no boot system that is going to negate the current boot variable and then we are going to set the new um, boot var which is boot system switch all flash and use dot bin image to boot this device we are going to do a write uh, that is save this configuration and then you reload the switch because the mode will take effect only after uh, reload once you reload the switch and again you do show version you should see that this is going to be in bundle mode let's go on to the second use case converting from bundle mode to install mode and this is the most prevalent uh, uh, use case uh, you are going to see so most of the devices today is in bundle mode and you would like to go take it to the install mode so how we can do that so uh, in this use case we are assuming that um, the file is running in bundle mode uh, this uh, switch is running in bundle mode we are going to do a software upgrade and as a part of software upgrade we are going to um, boot in install mode so the first step is copy the new bin image uh, file to flash so you do a copy any tftp or scp location to your flash and whatever software you want to copy uh, you can copy it to flash the next is very important thing is we are going to expand this software so you copied a dot bin file in your flash and now what i'm uh, saying is request platform software this is the new cli request platform software package expand this is the keyword so I'm going asking uh, to expand this newly copied file. You can see this is a dot bin file. I want to expand this software into flash. And what happened when you do this? Uh, now, if you uh, check in your flash directory, you should see that 1693 is .spa pkg .spa pkg for different component. You see RP base, RP boot, that means all these different features, uh, they are broken down from a single bin file to different packages. Uh, and that's hence, the and they, they all are reflected as .spa package. And all this information about all this uh, component stored in packages.conf. So this is our, uh, you can say this is our uh, key file where you have all, all the necessary information okay so you copied the file expanded the uh, uh, file into flash now you have package.conf now the things are simple now what we are going to do again unset the existing boot var which is uh, in bundle mode and set the new boot uh, boot variable saying boot system switch all now this time you are saying that use flash package.conf so use package.conf info to boot this switch write the config and simply we are going to uh, before we reload let's check the new boot war so if you do a show boot war you can see uh, the current boot war since we negated it doesn't exit uh, exist but the on next reload the package.conf file is going to use uh, to boot this uh, device now we are good to reload the switch reload the switch and verify again so once you reload the switch i have truncated the output it will take some time and boot it with the new uh, software and you see that this time it boots into install mode and this is what you would like to do uh, if you are in bundle mode you copy new software expand it unset the current boot var set the new boot var to package.conf write the conf and reload the switch six steps to change and convert the con uh, mode now the third use case is very interesting because you know that uh, whenever you want to boot in install mode you set the boot variable to flash.package.conf but what if you are already in install mode that means your boot variable is already set to package.conf and you want to upgrade that uh, switch but you uh, but you are confused that 
what happened when i expand my new software newly copied software how how i will differentiate between different packages.conf so the switch is smart enough so in this case you can see i copied the new win file to flash and i checked the you know, current mode current mode is install mode already and now i'm expanding the newly copied software uh, so here i'm saying request platform software package expand and this is my new software to flash look at the output expanding file verifying parameter expanding super package dot bin file so it validated the package and everything now it says warning a different version of provisioning file package.conf is already exist in flash because the switch is in install mode uh, that's why you know, this warning is legitimate yes so what switch is going to do in that case while expanding so now the provisioning file from expanded bundle will be saved as this flash cat 9k with, with the actual software name so first time when you expand and if package.conf is not there the default provisioning file name is package.conf but if package.conf file is already there switch is smart enough to uh, to detect that and to to avoid the confusion this time it will give a different name uh, relevant to the what software you are expanding different name for provisioning file and you can see that this time my package.conf is called cat 9k ios xc 161201 spa.conf so good and uh, you can check uh, flash uh, if the new package.conf is available i did a dir and i can see that all my new software is uh, expanded and here at the last i have my provisioning file so now i know what is the name of provisioning file what i'm going to do is unset the boot var and set the new boot var to the new provisioning uh, file uh, with the new provisioning file name same thing now we are going to write uh, the config reload and then you can see once you reload uh, after the device comes back here's the show version here's my new software and mode is still install mode so this is all for this video i hope you find it useful if you have any question any confusion please feel free to post uh, questions um, in comment section and i'll try my best to address them uh, in timely fashion thank you